Okay, I ran out of time on that first one, so this is a part two. All right, so those are the Zooms. Zooms are optional this week. Now, I know, you know, there's been no, no one has said how long we're really going to be out, but we've been told to just kind of prepare for what if we don't get to go back right away. Um, and so if that's the case, I will have required Zooms for you to attend. But right now we're sticking to the, hey, hopefully we'll be back with each other soon. So these are optional Zooms there to help you if you need it. All right. So how do you accomplish your work for my class this week? Well, if you're a B-Day student, um, I'd like you to work on it on Tuesday and Thursday. I'm not in the house. I don't know when you're working on it, but I'm just trying to help you manage your time. So if you're a B-Day student, tomorrow it would be great if you read Chapter 15 and answered the questions on Classroom. Um, I'm going to do a YouTube summary, hopefully right after this, and I'm going to post some reading notes. So I suggest that you use those tools. I'm doing them to help you. So um, I really I want you to use them. Okay, they'll help you. They'll make it easier for you to do the assignment. Watch them. Okay. Um, so that's Tuesday for my B day students, Wednesday for my A day students. Same thing, chapter 15, answer the questions, watch the YouTube video summary notes. Okay. So Tuesday, Wednesday is chapter 15. Thursday for my B day students, um, read chapter 16 and 17, finish answering the questions, turn it in. Same thing with watching the summary videos and reading looking at the reading notes. Um, those will be posted on Classroom. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I did it for chapters 12, 13, and 14. I'll post them on Classroom. They will be there. And then Friday, if you're an A-Day student, same thing. Um, do chapters 16 and 17, okay? Now, I don't know what you're doing at your house, but this is just a suggested schedule. Another thing I would really like you guys to do this week is I created a Google Hangout group for each of my classes. So like first period A day, third period A day, and so on. I created a group chat just for our class. Um, next week before the test, I want us to do a review and a discussion in a Google Hangout. So we can actually talk about the book with each other. Um, I don't think Zoom will work for that because it's too chaotic having a bunch of people trying to talk. But in Google Classroom, we can just type. I know you can do comments in Zoom, but in Google Hangout, there's like emojis and things. So it's like so fun. Um, but I would like you to go to the Google Hangouts this week and just tell me what chapter you're on. So tomorrow, if you're in a B-Day class, just go in and be like, yeah, I'm on chapter 15. or Oh, I've already finished the book, or I'm a little behind. I didn't finish last week. I'm still on chapter 14. If you could just come in and say what chapter you're on, this will do two things. It'll let me know if my pacing is okay for you guys at home, and it'll also let me know um, that you're okay and that you're around and that I can hear from you because there are about 20 of you that I haven't heard from at all. And, you know, I'm your teacher, a little worried, want to make sure you're okay, everything's good. So I would just like to hear from you if you have access to technology. Um, if you're like, if this is a confusing thing to you, I will post in every classroom the link to the Hangout. I invited everyone through their school Gmail. So I think if you check your school Gmail, you'll see a link that I want to connect. Um, and then up here, you should have on your, um, whatever this is called, it's, I'm, it's late at night, I cannot recall. This part of your browser, there should be a thing that looks like a green speech bubble. It's Google Hangouts. Oh, that's my, it's not my school one, but my school one, um, if I were to open that, you would see that I've created groups for you guys. Okay. Um, what if I finish the book? A lot of you guys had finished the book kind of before we even left. Some of you guys finished it last week. If you have finished the book, just turn in your week two questions. Um, relax and enjoy your time, focus on other classes. If you're like, no, I want to do something, um, reach out to me because I have some things I could use your help on, making the quote sheet for um, when we write the essay, maybe doing some little videos or discussion-y things. Um, I have some stuff I could use your help on. All right, and then finally, I'm going to share this document with you guys, but this is just an overview of grades you can expect to get during this time. Week one assignment and week two assignment are going to be agency grades. Your test will be a knowledge and thinking grade. Writing will be the essay, which will hopefully be after spring. Well, it will be after spring break, hopefully face to face. And then we're going to do a discussion next week. All right. Any questions, comments, you can leave it on the 
video or email me.